Good morning. Guess what day it is. Guess what day it is. It's election day. And damn, I hope Donnie Boy goes away. You never know. Could be elected. And we gotta put up with this lunatic for another four years. I wanna play a song. I know I'm gonna get a hit from... Uh, This is a this is a song Nora Jones wrote <laughs> after Donald Trump got elected the first time. Let's hang on. What a beautiful woman. Go away. But fear's the only thing I saw. And three days later was clear to all. And nothing means as scary as election day. Nothing is as scary. But the day after is darker. <laughs> Donnie. And darker and darker it goes. Who knows? Maybe the plans will change. Who knows? Maybe he's not deranged. Yeah, deranged. We know he is. This girl's talented, man. It's election day, boys. May not have a song to say. If Donald Trump gets elected again, freedom of speech, you know, <clears throat> fucking prison camps, mass deportation, 
you know, like a fascist country, you know. Anyways, guys, it's Tuesday. All day. And I think Tuesday's probably going to roll right on into Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, Donnie's going to get all upset. He's going to be making all kinds of accusations. It's a hoax. It's a... Whatever the fuck is. I did my duty, man. I voted against him. Like so many others. Four-star generals. 35-year retired Marines. John Kelly voted against him. Mike Pence cannot vote for him. He was his vice president. You know, even though he, you know, just because Donald put a hit on him doesn't mean anything. Should have still voted for him like a good Republican. Yeah. Anyways, guys, I got a, uh, a guest in my house. She's beautiful and friendly and just a joy. She's got great energy. Uh, she's a florist and she's... Uh, just got really good energy, man. Had a nice talk yesterday. Got a lot of stuff for the house. Uh, things coming around. Hopefully by the end of the week we'll have a new president-elect and it won't be Donald Trump. Uh, if we're lucky, I know Mikey Pipes is driving around with a fucking boner. Thinking his boys get back in, but uh, we'll see, man. We'll see. So <clears throat> I gotta go do a job today over at Airbnb Pat's. He's got a washing machine that was. I think somebody added it to a uh, a lavatory. Well, me, I don't know, man. Just an inch and a half sanitary tea, tap tea, stainless, I mean, cast iron. And uh, it's just not handling the water. It sounds like it's gonna overflow. So we're just gonna, right outside of the building is, uh, from the laundry room is, a, is the sewer line. So we're just gonna tap into that, man. Dump this washing machine, put a Studevent on the outside. Uh, vent, vent the, the trap with the student vent and then that can become the clean out you know if it ever backs up which it won't it's plastic it's about 10 10 or 12 feet of pipe and he's just concerned that he's going to get a flood I mean it has backed up before and he just put floors in the house and he doesn't want to destroy them so we're going to hopefully get that fixed up for him today uh I need a two inch P trap. I need a two inch sanitary T. I need a Studevant. I need a sweep. I need another sweep. I need a sweep and I need a 90. Uh, and I need a four by two something sanitary T. I'm hoping I can put it in there on a, on a T so I don't have to dig it up and cut the whole trunk line, you know, and put a fucking fitting in there. Uh, we'll see. But uh, he'll sleep better at night. And um, that's my plan for today. Uh, Johnny's going to calm down on the politics, Jackson. Unless Trump gets elected, Jesus Christ. What a fucking horror story. I will tell you that when he got elected the first time, I was in the middle of doing chemotherapy. Uh, I had to drive to Tampa every day and do eight hours, of, uh, no, three times a week, I'm sorry. Do, do chemotherapy. Uh, this was for at a satellite office, not the regular Moffitt that I go to. Uh, had to do chemo for eight hours a day 
and uh, on election day, I came out of there, I was sick, I was throwing up in the parking lot, and I just couldn't make the drive home. The, the drive through Tampa and the traffic is just was just horrific. I had done it many times, and I was like, you know what, man, I just can't do it tonight. So I went to a Marriott, uh, got a fucking one of those little apartment room things, and uh, went in, crashed out, and I woke up throwing up at like 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning, and I turned the television on, and it said, Hillary, Hillary Clinton just conceded. I was like, Are you fucking kidding me? This fucking piece of shit got elected president? <laughs> he couldn't get elected dog catcher, man. I mean, if he had to fill out a job application. He's a fucking creep. Oh, we see that, sir. Yeah, hi. Yeah, well, you've got a few, a few thousand court cases against you. You seem to be a corrupt individual. Oh, don't worry about that. Don't worry about it. I'm good. Hello, Bella. Bella, just give me kisses. Give daddy kisses. Oh, thank you. Oh, you sweet girl. Daddy's gonna be stressing today. I don't even wanna work because of this. Yes. Gas prices are pretty cheap, guys. And if you come, Kamala Harris gets in, all those CEOs from those fucking people who have a monopoly on our food and gas, they're all going to get dragged into Congress. But did you, do you think... Uh, the Republican Congress would have, you know, called those guys in while they were in power and said, hey, can you explain to us why? Uh, because that's part of their plan, man. Just like tanking the, uh, the immigration bill. Why would they fix that, you know? Why would they fix that? And Donald Trump would have nothing to run on, you know? Why would they fix fucking inflation that I call an, uh, gouging? Uh... That's all it is. Uh, because they're complicit. They're in on the scheme. On how to manipulate people. Uh, to get their boy in power. And then they really... You don't want to give the... You don't want to give Donald Trump the keys to the vault. That's all I'm saying. You know, come on, guys. Really? Would you let him... Would you throw him the keys to your safe and your business? Let him be the CFO? I don't think so. But you're ready to throw him the keys to the fucking White House. Ugh. Terrible. This is what we need to do every day. Fight. We can learn a lot from dogs. Bella, go kick Gussie's butt. Go kick Gussie. Get him. <laughs> Gussie, what is she doing? <laughs> Acting like a woman. Fuck you, Gussie. He's a character, man. We have guests here. You gotta keep it quiet. Mouth of the South. The mouth of the South. So it's the crack of fucking dawn, guys. I gotta uh, give my boy a shout out. Hang on, I gotta get his uh, YouTube channel. Alright, guys. So, I got, a, I got like three calls last night, man, from subscribers. Uh, one of them was a guy who lives in Kentucky. Uh, unfortunately for him, he was, he was out hot-dogging on, uh, on his motorcycle. 
uh, which we all have done, uh, but he fell and he hit his head and uh, he's, he's disabled, uh, but he's got, a, he's got his own web channel and he's a cool guy, he lives in Kentucky, I believe. Uh, name of his channel is Crossroad or Five. And to me, you know, his videos are just, they just show the determination of the, you know, the human spirit. I mean, this guy is, he got hurt bad, man. He's in a wheelchair, uh, but he's out pressure cleaning his driveway. He's out cutting trees down, dude. I mean, he's an amazing guy. He likes Trump. What are you gonna do? Get out. He's a good man. And uh, you gotta check that website out, that channel, uh, YouTube channel, Crossroad or Five. He's a good guy. He's a great uh, subscriber. And he watches my videos every day. Brother, I hope everything goes well for you, man. I'm pulling for you. Uh, pray for you. You're in my, my cloud of people I, I'm wishing well. And uh, God bless you, brother. God bless you, man. You're, you're an inspiration to show the, the fight you have in you. Some people don't have it, man. You know, they just don't have the... what it takes to fight through, you know, but you do, man, you don't give up, brother, for sure, and I appreciate you, I appreciate your videos, get some more up there, and you'll get a following, it really is about your determination to uh, deal with your situation, and stay hopeful, man, just say, hey, man, I'm not, and I did it with cancer, you know, you could easily fold and just wither away. Uh, but you got fight in you, brother. You got fight in you. And that's going to take you a long way. And I know your sister helps you. And I just want to say God bless her too, man. Because uh, we all need a little help in this world. Uh, great song by Bill Withers. Lean on me. Lean on me when you're not strong, and I'll be your friend. Yeah, it's a great song. I don't know the rest of the words, but I always thought, what a great song for, it kind of sums up Alcoholics Anonymous, because I spent a lot of time in the rooms, man. And uh, it's really what it is about, man. We all come on hard times, and a friend, somebody you can lean on, doesn't have to be family. Sometimes family's the worst thing. Uh, but obviously your sister is taking care of you, man. God bless you and your sister, and uh, continued progress for you, my friend. Anyways, it's election day. And uh, I did get two other calls last night. Uh, one guy was out doing a service call. He's had like three ball cocks blow apart in his house. Uh, supply hoses to toilets bursting. So he's got either a, I mean, just a high water uh, pressure situation where the house needs a PRV or that they have a, uh, you know, thermal expansion problem. So they need to get to the bottom of that before the problem is catastrophic. I appreciated you calling me, man. High tech handyman. Uh, it was nice talking to you. I learned some things. You learned some things. Uh, and that's what it's all about, really. Just sharing our, our knowledge, our information, and uh, just being open to help somebody out, man. You know? Lend a hand. Mikey did it for me the other day. I was already done with the job, but, you know, it was, uh, he called me back to, to, to help me out, man. So, the other thing I want to say, in, in keeping with that whole spiel, 
is that, you know, if we're looking, if you really need to live your values, no matter who's in the White House, one man is not going to change uh, the circumstances in this country, man. It's just not going to happen. So what I'm trying to say is that, you know, you need to live your values, man. And, and if your values are a little out of whack, you know, uh, where's my sign? Uh, it's, uh, I gotta go get this because it's very important. Hang on. So, when I say live your values, uh, this thing right here is the tale of two wolves, which is probably backwards. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's not. Let's see. That's probably better. But anyways, the tale of two wolves uh, is about one wolf is, is anger, envy, jealousy, doubt, sorrow, regret, greed, arrogance, self-pity, guilt, resentment, inferiority, lies, false pride, superiority, and ego. And to me, that, uh, in my eyes, that fits Donald Trump to, the, to a T, man. It just fits him to a T. And then the other is a good wolf. And uh, it's joy, peace, love, hope serenity humility kindness reaching out to people man trying to help doing what you can maybe you come up short maybe it's not enough but at least you tried you know empathy generosity i consider myself to be a generous person man forgiveness truth compassion and faith i need to work on all of this stuff but i need to get this shit out of my life man I need to get the bad wolf out of my life. And then at the bottom of this, the grandson, after listening to this from his Cherokee grandfather, the grandson says, uh, so, so which one wins, Grandpa? And the old Cherokee said, the one you feed. So what I'm saying is, on election day, we need to feed, uh, we need to feed the good wolf, man. And I need to do it too, so, uh, hang on. Unfortunately, politics brings out the worst in people. Uh, you get caught up in this vortex of bullshit where people are just hurling fucking insults and I'm guilty of it more than anybody. Uh, but I need to get back to center and center is feeding that good wolf every day. Uh, you know, a lot of these people who are voting for, they're not voting for Donald Trump, they're voting against other people. Uh, you know, they're voting against these hardworking immigrants who are just, get to know one, man. You'll see that we have a lot to learn from these people. These are people who... <laughs> There are people in America who are hungry and they're so fucking lazy they wouldn't even walk to the corner to 7-Eleven to get something to eat. They call Uber, you know? I mean, we're dealing with people who've walked hundreds of miles and have gotten into this country and they're sleeping in cars. A lot of them are not. They get here, they get established, they have houses, they have families. Uh, this shit's all on the table in this election. What kind of country do we want to be? Do we want to feed the bad wolf, man? Do we want to feed uh, a guy who really wants to be a dictator, man? I mean, for what? For lower, for lower prices? Those guys are going to get their day of reckoning. The people who've been ripping us off at the market, that's what happens when... Uh, when, when these corporations have a, uh, a monopoly on everything and they own half of the politicians. I mean, 
the Republicans are in Congress right now. They they hold the power to call people up on the floor and get them to fucking explain themselves. But what have they done? They don't do that. I would have, if I were there, I would have been calling them motherfuckers up. Those those markets and the people who are in charge of our food, uh, they'd have been they'd have been called onto the carpet three four years ago. I mean, I understood things were bad under COVID. But we came out of that, man, and uh, there's no excuse for this bullshit, you know? They just fucking play with us, man. They play with our lives uh, so that they can get more power and more money, man. That's what it's about. We lose. Hey, uh, can you guys can you guys speed it up a little bit? You're disturbing my dogs. <laughs> They don't like my dog. They're It's such a good thing. Gussie, stop it. Gussie. Hey, Gussie don't like that guy. He's like, you don't want me for him, man. Gussie, come here. Hey. Come on now. Bella, I know it. Gussie, you be a good watchdog. He's like, fuck yeah, man. Wow. This is my cell. I remember my buddy got locked up for fucking, I think it was his fifth or sixth DUI. Some motherfucker came in his cell. Just an old fucking decrepit alky, you know. He's in his cell, got locked up for like three months or six months or something. Some motherfucker came in there and tried to steal his fucking candy bar and his socks, you know. Or or a guy had his socks on, had his name on, the, the dude was wearing his socks. And my boy said something to him, and the dude went in there to beat the fuck out of him. And this other, his celly jumped out of his rack and said, this is my motherfucking house. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> this is my house. This is my motherfucking nine by ten. Whatever the fuck size they are. The dude stood up for my man, Harley. Bella, shut up. Uh, so I've got in front of my house right now, I have one, two, three other neighbors shit. Because I'm the last guy on the block to get the shit picked up. Everybody's coming up saying, hey, uh, would you mind if I, um, you know, unload my shit in front of your house saying they didn't pick you up yet? And I say, yeah, you can go ahead and do that, knowing full well I'm going to have to go out there and clean up the remnants of even more shit, you know? But this is what... Life is like in floody da, floody da. <coughs> That's some nasty coffee, Jason. All right, guys. So it's election day. I I gotta get the TV fixed in this house, man. I gotta go buy a smart television. You can buy like a fucking, uh, you know, eight foot wide screen now for fucking, I don't know, $99 at Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> so this, uh, This guest I have is really cute, man. She's a vegan, vegetarian. There is a difference between the two. She's a floral designer. She's traveling. She does shows. She's cool, man. She's got a cool life, man. She's from uh, Minnesota. And she's just beautiful, man. Beautiful. She's got good energy, you know what I mean? When you're next to somebody who's got 
they're open. She came here. Some people, they close all the shades and they, you know, hunker down. Not her, man. She's got all the fucking shades open. She's just enjoying it, man. She's a very open, beautiful human being, man, from what I can see. And she's smart, man. She's a she's a go getter, man. She handled everything. She called me up. She had a uh, they gave her an electric car. She she calls me up. She's like, hey, uh, you know, is it okay if I charge this car at your house? I was like, I don't have a charging station, and I sure as fuck ain't buying electricity to charge your fucking car. It's not how it works, man. I need to make sure that I have that. Like, it's not one of the things I I uh, offer. Morning. Gussie, stop. Gussie, stop. <laughs> I know you want to just bark it. <laughs> Gussie's huffing and puffing, blowing fucking air out of his nose. He knows they're, they're female dogs, so Bella's the one who's got the far problem with them. <laughs> Plus he's a character, man. He wakes me up in the morning to say hello, and every night before I go to sleep, I turn the light out, I roll over, go to sleep, get ready to go to sleep, and he comes up and he says good night to me, man. He always comes up to my bed in the dark, and he's like, hey man, just wanna say goodnight, bro. You're my dog. I said, no man, you're my dog. He's like, no man, you're my dog. I said, Gus, you just go to fucking bed. I ain't having this argument, man. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna let it ride on that today. Uh, it's election day. Let's see what kind of crazy <laughs> shit happens in this country today and tomorrow. You know the instigator in chief Donald Trump will be out there stirring the pot, trying to pour gas on a fire. That's what he does. We all know it. Uh, he's a sick man. He has mental issues. He's 78 and batshit fucking crazy. And I just can't imagine him. In a, he's, he needs to be institutionalized in like a year or two, man. His Russian spy wife she must have made a deal with him and said, listen, I'm going to stick around through this election for at least another hundred million, you know? Give me my money uh, up front because she knows you can't trust that motherfucker. You don't pay nothing. But if he don't get elected today, Donnie's going to motherfucking jail, boys. He owes a lot of fucking money. And he's got a lot of court cases coming up. What is going on, Jackson? All right, guys, have a great day, man. I hope you enjoy this video. It's election day.